Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap currency, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code Zerk for 5% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerk Smash today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today I'm going to be going over all of the confirmed golden tickets that I know about which is 16. If you guys didn't know there's 34 golden tickets so 18 of them I have no idea on so we will see exactly when EA reveals the list if they do reveal a list of all the golden ticket players obviously this doesn't mean that they didn't get pulled it's just either that they don't have social media or maybe they just didn't reach out to myself I'm guessing that a large majority of people just don't really have social media or Twitter Instagram whatever um, when it comes to Madden community there probably are some other ones that were roaming around social media that just I don't know about so if you guys have no any other golden tickets you can go ahead comment them down below but I'm gonna go over this 16 ones that I know about and to be honest I don't mind having quite a few of them that are gonna be a surprise so it's kind of interesting I don't give a shout out to Mark for being a part of the Nodi gang if you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub channel turn notification on and comment down below Nodi gang and guys today we do have the NBA play-in and we have more MLB games so if you guys want to check those out you can use underdog fantasy and you can use code Zert to match your first deposit up to hundred dollars follow me over on Twitter for all of my picks we do have the NBA playoffs probably gonna see a new special coming up as well with that so check it out use code Zerk let's get into it so let's get into these 16 golden tickets and also I just want to mention this as well because I know when the list gets put out if any of these guys are missing people are gonna say Zerk what happened to this guy these cards could still change except for a couple of them I'm gonna tell you guys which ones actually have already been submitted however there is actually one card there was supposed to be I've talked about him in the past a golden ticket Saquon Barkley I will let you guys know the person that submitted Saquon Barkley he actually got an email back from EA and they said hey Saquon's getting a card soon do you want to do somebody else so Saquon is actually coming into the game very soon I'm guessing with Sugar Rush part two we'll see about that so he actually did change off of Saquon I have the player that he changed to I'll talk about him in a moment here but just know some of these ones could potentially change i'm giving you guys the information that i know as of this day right now it is currently noon wednesday april 13th some of these cards may have not been submitted yet they may submit them to ea and ea might say hey do you want to change that or they could refuse it for any reason at all so just know if the list comes out and some of these guys are different that's why so again these are the 16 confirmed ones that i know of as of this very second but as i told you in the past they are subject to change and some of the ones i've talked in the past did change because of cards people got and they changed their mind so starting off we have michael pittman this one actually has already been submitted so 100 pittman is coming this one was actually pulled by it's your boy cleo4 over on twitter i uh, helped to make this michael pittman and i think this card is an absolute monster so i'm gonna quickly run through the boost that we decided to go with on all these cards not much of an explanation behind all of them because there's a lot of cards to get into so in terms of the boost for michael pittman we went with deep route running obviously it's an 82 had to be touched there uh he's a six foot four 223 pound wide receiver so we went with deep route running on him we also went with spin move truck run block and break tackle so he's going to be a really really good after the catch wide receiver the deep route running we're really really hoping that ea will super juice it because obviously it's only 82 so that was one thing that really really needed to be uh changed on the card his route running will get up as well should be a pretty good card so we have halfback cordero patterson this one is made by terry ward now i actually didn't assist with this card i believe cc actually helped make this card so shout out to cc uh patterson this is going to be an incredible incredible card i said before golden tickets even came out this was probably the best running back option overall uh and it's a really really good card he did actually dm me yesterday though and told me what boost they decided to go with by the way i forgot to mention what uh archetypes went with on michael Pittman. Pittman's going to have two deep threats one route run one slot and one physical as for cordero patterson he's gonna have one receiving two power two elusive and his boosts are going to be truck short route running medium route running carrying and catching traffic so pretty much perfect i mean he's gonna be a crazy crazy uh receiving back and then he's just gonna have better carrying and better trucking perfect now this one right here guys is actually not somebody changing their gt 
This is a new golden ticket that somebody actually reached out to me with last night, and I verified they did in fact have a GT. Now, this one is actually made by Death Star in 3D. He does have a Twitch. You guys can follow him over there if you want to, Death Star in 3D. But he decided to go with wide receiver Deion Sanders, which out of all of the golden ticket wide receivers uh, that I'm going to be going over with you guys, he is the shortest for sure cool because he's on a lot of theme teams so i guess that does help out a lot and wide receiver dion is actually pretty glitchy i don't think he's going to be necessarily the uh most wanted one just because the other wide receivers i'm gonna go over the guys they are crazy crazy too but with dion of course you know he's 185 pounds and in terms of his boost here this is a 95 overall card so for the boost went with release because he only has an 87 here went with carrying he's only have a 78 uh you guys can see the trucking the thing is if we boost the trucking on this card if we chose to boost the trucking on him it's not gonna get up enough right they're not gonna boost a 37 to like a 85 or a 90 right so there was no point in going with like trucking whatever that's kind of the one issue we ran into with this card is that most of its stats are pretty good and the other ones are too low to really boost up to be uh crazy crazy good so we did go with release carry break tackle and you might say well you don't do break tackle target 94 well the other stats on him you might as well go break tackle just to ensure that does get to a 99 there uh and then deep route running and run block uh the deep route running because it's a 92 so want to ensure that that will get up to at least 97 boosting it will get it to 99 you would imagine but if we don't touch that if it goes plus four overall gets to 96 you can't power up these cards you might not be able to give him the 99 deep route running and that would be terrible and then as i said run block because every other stat you could potentially boost in this card I mean, if you boost them, they're really not going to get high enough at all. So might as well go with run block on him. So yeah, that's Dion. Also, if you don't understand GTs, I want to point this out. You can't choose to boost anything physical. So speed, excel, strength, change of direction, agility, uh, jumping. You can't boost stuff like that. And then for his archetypes, he went with two deep threat, one route runner, one physical, and one slot. Uh, I don't know if he's actually going to be able to get honorary lineman because you do need 60 impact block. But if you go with physical, then you know you do get leapfrog, which some people like to run leapfrog and do the journal, whatever. So still, his archetypes are good. He's going to be a very, very good after the catch and just in general receiving wide receiver this next one is aj dylan and again i can confirm that aj dylan has been sent in already so this one is 100 percent as well going to be coming now this one is actually made by jesse dean 1518 and in terms of the boost i know a lot of people saw you know aj dylan get the 96 overall sugar rush people were saying well maybe he's gonna switch off him he's not switching off him because he's gonna make him just all around a better card he has a 96 but he's gonna be a, a 99 and all around a much much better total card like this 96 overall aj dylan is more so just a big tank back well with the boost we decided to go we went with juke spin catching short route running and also carrying so he should be at 99 carrying uh his juke and spin hopefully high 90s right mid 90s high 90s whatever uh the catching of a 71 that's going to be up there more and the short route running really really hope that ea juices that up a lot and then in terms of the art types one receiving two elusive and two power so you'll get backfield master for one ap you'll get like bruiser bulldozer all that stuff tank uh jukebox evasive spin cycle all that you'll be able to get and again you can't choose to upgrade change of direction agility stuff like that because trust me if we could we would have chose to boost change of direction on aj dylan but you can't next up we have jimmy graham and this one is being made by tj zero fly and in terms of his boost guys again you cannot boost stuff like change of direction agility strength anything like that because obviously I wish that we could, but you cannot choose to boost those stats. So in terms of the boost, we went with man coverage because it's a 94, so it should be at 99. The hit power, which again, should be a 99. He's only going plus two overall, so it would be 98. And I know, I know, Cam Chancellor gives plus one to hit power. I understand that, the Mutt Master, but TJ actually doesn't have Cam Chancellor all the way powered up. And this is his golden ticket. So he's going to make sure that this Jimmy Graham can get to 99 hit power because, again, it's his GT. So he wants to make sure he gets to 99 hit power. I understand that everybody else may have Cam all the way powered up. And you don't need to have 99, you just need 98, but that's not the case for him. So block shed as well, another stat that we decided to boost. And the final one, because truly when you take a look around, oh, I forgot as well, tackle. Uh, tackling is being boosted. Truly when you take a look at the stats here, 
there's not much else to boost on the card right uh, catching traffic spec catch all those are pretty high so the final one we decided to boost is actually impact block because that does help when jimmy graham is to make contact with someone to be able to pretty much push them away get off the block push them through the block he's 260 pounds as well so he's a big big safety so boosting the impact block you don't really hear people talk about it much at all but what else do you boost on this card and by the way i don't believe you can even boost play rec and this is a user card anyway so yeah kind of a one that just whatever will throw out an impact block and another one that's being made is quarterback derrick henry and this card is just going to be nasty i mean look at his stats what truly needs to be boosted on this derrick henry card so again you can't go with physical stuff also throw power is not something that you can choose to be upgraded so if i recall correctly uh dom helped with this one and boost on this one they're going with spin move so it's going to go from an 87 to you know high 90s hopefully medium accuracy deep accuracy as well carrying just to ensure it would be 99 to be honest the, the reason why he won't be carry is because it should be 99 but there's like no other stats to even boost and then juke move as well which is a 95 so again ensuring that juke move is going to be a 99 break tackle should instantly be a 99 this card carrying is going to be a 99 the accuracies are going to be good he's going to be incredible on the run this is going to be one of the best golden ticket cards and then in terms of the archetypes i do believe that he's going with one strong arm one field general two scrambler and also one improviser now the only thing about this derrick henry card guys is you can't boost awareness so again you cannot boost physical stuff like that so you can't boost awareness i do not believe he's gonna be able to get how remastered the pretty much only downside of this card now this one is also being made by dom and i believe this is the one that dom actually bought off of someone to make so he's actually gonna go with cam newton which cam has got generic three release so he's gonna have a slightly slower release than derrick henry however cam actually will be able to get higher master and in terms of the boost cam is gonna have boosted carrying throw under pressure break sack break tackle and also spin move and then in terms of the archetypes dom is going with two field general two strong arm and one scrambler now the next gt is Razul douglas and the guy who's making this is gamer tag is scorpino muerte and you guys can see Razul douglas is a six foot two cornerback and i actually think this is going to be a pretty good one he's actually a panthers fan but he decided to go with a player who's going to be able to get multiple team cams instead of just doing jc horn for the panthers cam which i think is actually really, really cool that he decided to go with someone that's going to get multiple team cams for all you guys so for his stats the boosts are going to be man press tackling hit power and block shed pretty good card he's going to be very good against the run all around good coverage card 6-2 good speed i think it's going to be a pretty good card in his archetypes two zone two man and one slot next we've got ed two tall jones and this one is being made by elijah simpson i think this is going to be uh potentially the best wide receiver i mean he's six foot nine so this card is going to be absolutely crazy and in terms of his boost guys the boosts are going to be juke spin break tackle carry and run block truly i know the short run running is only an 88 but it's going to be above 90 and you're not really going to use a six foot nine ed two tall jones to throw a short route you're going to be sending him deep most of the time so he's going to be insane as a run blocker 271 pounds with 91 impact block already and his run block is going to be boosted going to be really really good after the catch uh increased carry as well as i said and break tackle so i think this is just going to be a monster deep threat receiver that also was crazy after the catch uh and he's also can he's got 271 pounds so he's able to air truck and he's gonna be great run blocking this card's nuts in terms of the archetypes two deep threat one route run one slot and one physical all right and this one is one you guys have actually not heard me talk about before either this is a new one now as i told you some players did actually end up changing off their golden tickets due to you know upgrades coming out well one of the golden tickets that i talked about previously was Najee harris but with Najee harris actually getting the 98 overall team champion card beast lmb decided to go ahead and switch to plaxico burris so guys we have ed two tall jones plaxico Pittman, and there's actually another wide receiver i'm gonna talk to you guys about as well oh and Deion sanders and there's another wide receiver i'm gonna talk about here so plaxico burris 
six foot five and when you take a look at the stats he honestly looks really really good so in terms of the boost we went with again carry break tackle run block trucking and spin move so again this is another wide receiver he was already really really good and you can see the short route running again is an 89 but you know boosting five overall it's gonna be like 94 the deep route running plus five overall is gonna be a 98 the speed should be like 97 98 speed base as well and then again just gonna be boosted pretty much after the catch gonna have really really high spin move should be 99 spin move carrying is going to be boosted really high he's gonna be an incredible run blocker truck should be mid 90s or so and i think that was all of them right carry break tackle run block trucking and spin so yeah break tackle hopefully as well will be 99 beast this is one card guys that i do not know the boost to but Darrington Evans, and again, the backstory kind of behind Darrington Evans is that he is actually kind of big in the Madden community. He's a really, really cool dude. I've talked to him quite a few times. Really, really chill dude. Darrington Evans is going to be an absolute stud. And this one is being made by Killa KG1. Uh, I know that he's, you know, not 240 pounds, 230 pounds, whatever. He's 203 pounds. But I'm really curious to see what boosts were put on this card and how he turns out. I think he's probably just going to be a really good elusive and receiving back so we'll see this is another player guys that is actually being switched as i told you elijah moore right elijah moore was set to get a golden ticket well he got a team champion card and the person that was going to do elijah moore is now doing halfback michael vick and this is being made by fcs vii over on twitter so halfback michael vick uh this card is going to be nasty if you take a look at the stats obviously he's 215 pounds so again you know versus someone like you know aj dillon who is huge not as big you know won't necessarily break as many tackles but when you really really take a look at the stats he is just going to be a nasty receiving back so in terms of the boost carrying obviously had to be boosted it's only 67 trucking as well as another stat we decided to boost and then we went with break tackle which of course is an 87 so hopefully that'd be super boosted and finally the short route running because it's a 91 the medium is already really high catch traffic already really high catching's really high deep route running i mean it's a running back so like unless you line him up out wide whatever but going with short route running to boost should ensure that this michael vick is gonna have 99 short route running and also if you're wondering about like release whatever it doesn't really matter because it's just be like we're to line up at a wide receiver and get pressed so short route running should be a 99 in this card juke and spin could very potentially be a 99 carrying we chose it to boost hopefully mid 90s that's kind of the hope here same thing with trucking uh, again you don't really know how much they're going to boost them so carrying trucking brake tackles short route running and stiff arm so yeah those are all the boosts again not a super big running back but this definitely should be the best receiving back golden ticket and then another running back guys is carson ballman and also want to give a shout out to his friend miles because both of them really talked to me about this card and wanted to see exactly what boost they wanted to go with so in terms of boost with vita vea went with short route running spin break tackle juke and catching so obviously this card's huge 347 pounds and he's gonna be a really really good receiving back hopefully that spin move will get really really juiced up and be over 90 uh the break tackle should be 99 juke as well should be super high and catching so 99 truck I'm guessing 99 Karen as well. He's going plus six overall, so we decided to not boost trucking or carrying. Just hoping that EA doesn't mess around with this car to make him, you know, for some reason, 98 truck, 98 carrying. Make him 99 EA. And hopefully his speed is like 95, 96. So Vita Vea, it's going to be a fun card. Another quarterback that we're getting is Tony Romo. And this one's being made by OOI Passive OO over on Twitter. So obviously, he's a Cowboys fan, right? I am definitely very very excited for tony romo and he actually did have second thoughts about potentially switching off of romo but he decided to stick with him and honestly you know what i'm cool with it i don't know if people will pick him up over cam or uh, derrick henry but i'll tell you what i definitely think i'll be picking up this card and trying to do a little bit of gameplay with him so in terms of these stat boosts on the card his actions are all really really good so we did decide to boost throw on the run carry break tackle juke and also the deep accuracy just to ensure that we get to 99 because truly when you're looking at this card in the boost although yes we boosted up stuff like carry break tackle juke all that 
you know, it's not really going to be that crazy high regardless. So he's pretty much just going to be an incredible pocket passer quarterback. And we'll see exactly how much EA juices up his stuff on the run. And in terms of archetypes, guys, we did go with one improviser, one scrambler, uh, one strong arm, and two field generals. So he's going to get conductor, Hara master, you know, escape artist, QB playmaker, if you want to go with that. And of course, gunslinger. Not at the same time, of course, but just in general, you would have picked exactly what you can go with. Now, this one one is actually really really interesting this one is a Steelers fan decided to make this hopefully I say his name correctly I believe his name is C Songy 39 hopefully I said his name correctly there but he is going to make Steven Denmark now he will in fact he actually DM'd RG just to make sure because I know people were saying that you know this guy's actually never played a game in his career he's never actually played a game so what team cams is he gonna get well he did actually DM RG tweeted out and he will get Steelers chemistry. So confirm, there's going to be a six foot two, uh, you know, cornerback for the Steelers theme team. I know they need some corners. I don't know the boost though. We'll see how good he is. As for the final golden ticket, guys, this is the one that I was telling you about with Saquon Barkley. So Saquon, he actually sent in Saquon. He emailed him back and said, hey, we're actually going to make a Saquon Barkley soon. Do you want to go with somebody else? And he decided to switch to Colin Johnson, which I think is an incredible selection. He's a six foot six wide receiver and a lot of people didn't even get to ever use this card because he's the mcs right and there's no way to get the card unless you have the tokens so i think that this is uh, number one just a great selection because the card's incredible number two people will finally be able to get to play with the colin johnson card so the boosts we decide to go with this card are going to be carrying juke brake tackle truck and run block so hopefully colin johnson will have super high break tackle he's got 88 impact block 66 222 his run block's gonna be really up there the carrying is gonna be up there as well should have 99 trucking and overall just again making another beastly big wide receiver that's already really really good and doesn't need you know route running or catching stats boosted at all just making him really good after the catch and super good as a run blocker as well and again in terms of archetypes two deep threat one route runner one slot and one physical so you guys can get whatever boost you possibly want so those are all 16 golden tickets that as the time that i'm recording this video are set to come out but again some of these could potentially change and i'm sure this was a very very long video but those are all of the gts all of the boosts i know of the archetypes for them all and honestly i think we have some pretty good gts obviously though i do want to point this out uh you notice there's a lot of offense of the 16 golden tickets that i know about 13 of them are on offense so that really really is interesting and uh we will see exactly what's going on with the other 18 golden tickets that i have absolutely no clue about and also probably get some developer golden tickets which i'm sure if they see we have you know 20 something offensive ones if that's the case then they will go ahead and make some defensive ones so with that being said guys hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like the video and of course hit that sub button down below i'll see you guys next time